All right, check out our new sponsor, Greenwood Stocks. They want you to know how to be able to trade stocks and be your own boss and be free to travel the world by making passive income. We all need that passive income from stock market. What are you waiting for? Call and text 281-760-3170. If you didn't catch that, that's on your screen. Or check them out at social media, Greenwood Stocks, and catch them at Gmail, Greenwood Stock Trading at Gmail, and the YouTube channel is Greenwood Stocks. Appreciate them for giving me the opportunity. Check them out. We out. All right, man. Let's talk about Russell Wilson. Here we go. There's a lot of teams out there that people were saying that I was going to or would go to. I requested a trade. I did not request a trade. Um, I've always wanted to play here. Um, you know, and, and the reality is, you know, uh, I think calls were getting thrown around and this and that. And I think that's just a reality. Um, but I think at the end of the day, the, the real reality is that I'm here. And I'm here to win. And I'm here to win it all. Uh, there was a whole thing saying that I requested a trade. And that's just not true. You know, I didn't request a trade. You know, so I think everything kind of started from there. Uh, and then obviously tons of teams were calling. And I think that the reality was is that I didn't really want to go anywhere else. I wanted to play in Seattle. But if I had to go somewhere, these were teams I would go to consider. At the end of the day, I had no trade calls, right? So I think, you know, um, I think for me, though, you know, I, I had a, a great conversation with Coach Carroll, you know. Um, All right, that's Russell Wilson, right? A lot of people wasn't buying. Um, a lot of people wasn't buying that he didn't request a trade. A lot of people think he did request a trade. Okay, he gave four teams. I forget like the Bears, the Raiders. Couldn't remember the other two teams that he wanted to go to. But let's talk about it. Check out the NFL playlist. Don't forget you find me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. I'm on LinkedIn. You can reach out anytime. <clears throat> if you want a video request, we're gonna have to build the channel. Chop it up. And my thing is this. You know, what did Seattle do to improve the roster this year? Okay. And, you know, um, and you look at it, and my thing is, did they, did they do a better job of protecting them? Um, in my opinion, no. In my opinion, no, man. Looking at their free, let's look at their draft. And they drafted another receiver. The cat out of Michigan, of Western Michigan. Dwayne Eskridge. You know? You know? They took Dwayne Eskridge with their first pick. Pick 56. They took Trey Brown, corner out of Oklahoma, with their 137 pick. They put offensive tackle on the six. They need to protect Russell Wilson, bro. That's my thing. They didn't do a great job of checking the protecting Russell Wilson. They should have been trading for that offensive tackle from Baltimore. Russell Wilson will get killed again, you know? They running backs never stay healthy. Russell Wilson don't have a chance to win in that division. I heard people saying, well, the Seahawks are going to win that division. Um, quite frankly, they're the worst team in that division if the 49ers are healthy. They're the worst team in that division. You look at the 49ers, the front seven is, is really good when healthy. You know, they lost Richard Sherman, so be it. Offensively, you get a healthy Debo Samuels back. Got a healthy offense, even if it's Jimmy Garoppolo. You got healthy running backs. I mean, um, Morstead did his thing last year. A couple other guys did their thing last year. They got a better offensive line. You look at Seattle, they got the worst roster in the division. Is that defense better than 49ers? No. Is that defense better than the Rams? No. Uh, the Cardinals, maybe. You know, um, the Cardinals got J.J. Waddy older, but then again, we'll see, you know. But offensively, um, I think they're the worst team in that division, bro. They got the best quarterback, and they might bail them out. You know, but you got Matt Stafford. You got the only only line that's considerably worse than theirs are equally is the Rams. But they got the defense to make up for it, so it, it all depends, bro. If Kyler Murray, you know, I don't think Kyler Murray is going to stay healthy under Cliff Kingsbury. So, I think they'd be better than the Cardinals. But it's going to be, it's the best division of football. You know, because, you know, the Chiefs got the NFC West on lock if Mahomes healthy. The most they team healthy. NFC East, I think, it's up for grabs, but I like the Bills. Um, NFC South is really between the Colts. Uh, the Colts and the, um, shit, who else there? The Titans, the Titans, excuse me. Then AFC North, that's another great division. NFC North, Rogers there is no doubt. NFC South, it's a solid division. 
NFC East is trash. So really, yeah, the NFC West is the best division in football. But um, like I said, I look for Russell Wilson to ask for a trade next season. You know, and I think he's full of shit, honestly, bro. I really do. I think he asked for a trade. He wanted out of there. And he's trying to save face with Seattle fans. He wanted out of Seattle. Period. He wanted out of Seattle. And can I blame him? No. They can't protect him and they don't have a consistent running game. Honestly. That's what it is, man. But, of course, he's not going to say it to the fans he wanted. But they can't protect him. You know, they can't protect him. Hold on. Let's see. Russell Wilson was sacked the most last year, 52 times. To put in to put in perspective about Carson Wentz, he didn't play all the games last year. He got sacked 50 times. Watson was sacked 49 times. Daniel Jones was sacked 45 times. Ryan, 41. Kirk Cousins, 39. Matthew Stafford, 38. Lamar Jackson, 37. You know, Sam Thurnold, 35. Josh Allen, 34. Joe Burrow's 32, and he didn't play all season. So, you know, like I said before, look at all these at least that quarterback. Obviously, it was a backup it's backup quarterbacks. So, um, somebody that played the whole year. Sheesh. Drew Brees. Drew Brees was the least sack quarterback that played the whole year, mostly. He did sit out then, Ben Roethlisberger. Uh, Fitzpatrick, but he didn't play the whole year. Uh, Phil Rivers, 19, he played the whole year. So it should be no excuses for Carson Wentz next year, bro. It shouldn't be zero excuses for Carson Wentz. He going to a team that had the least sack quarterback. They lit, they did lose Anthony Casanzo. But, um, yeah, Russell Wilson was the most sacked quarterback last year. And then they still ain't found him a consistent running back. They still don't have a great defense after the leisure to boom. Pete Curl and them, like I said before, I don't blame him. I don't blame him. They haven't, they haven't built a line, a good running game. They keep buying, they keep getting receivers. Their defensive line trash. Their linebackers getting old. They back in suck. Seattle, Seattle has zero chance of winning the championship. They got, they got a slim chance of getting out that division. My honest opinion, even with the great Russell Wilson, he should have been trying to get to Indianapolis. Indianapolis had him, they are probably win the Super Bowl. But, um, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Check the NFL playlist for more videos like this. Don't forget me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. You can reach out if you have a business question, part of response, or video quest. All my social media links in the description. Twitter's the past way, then Instagram and Twitter to reach me. Uh, if you have an advertised bitch on the channel, video request, chop it up. My link's there. Uh, Want to make a financial donation? Cash app, CJ Good313. That's in the description. PayPal link there as well, too. Let's go to donate. Share, share the video. Let me know what you guys think about this video. And about Russell Wilson. One time for one time. Y'all know what the business is. Peace.